Love your enemy. Is, is that your Islam, Quran, has come Sometimes above. Say you say Quran is above everything. Yes. Say, yeah. What else yeah. can yeah. Islam say? Time, I'm not here to. What does Islam say? Yeah. Islam say everything in the world. Everything. Christianity says, love your enemy. Yes. Where does it say? Love your. Christians are claiming it. You are saying. I'm saying that. Love your enemy. What can you offer? Can you explain this story? They got the question about Christianity. Okay, you have read it, yeah? You have read it. You haven't. Or you're not Muslim. But you haven't read Quran. We have read Quran. We don't need to memorize Quran. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so what can you say? That would be considered above Christianity. Love your enemy. What? Okay, hey, I'll tell you what's This is Christian. Look, excuse this? me, sir. Please, okay. please, get, get the combo. I'm gonna ask you what, what's the question? What's the question against him? We have a conversation. Wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna ask you a question. Who was the first person in the world? Who was the first person in the world? Yeah, thank you. In the world? Yeah. Okay, wait. Okay, Adam. Adam, thank you. Because how can Jesus that yeah. haven't even born, yeah. how can he just came in the world and like well, Adam was before him? Adam was created before Jesus. Right, that's correct, yeah. So, so why how do you guys believe in Jesus that he's God and he's not God? He's God's son. Right. Which is he's not God. And if he, he Okay, so God, first of all, we don't think God is a person. So when you refer to Allah as a synonym for God, yeah, do you think you're referring not, to a person? Yeah. We don't think that. So do you guys think that Jesus is our God? Yeah, so we but think that person. one second, we think that God is tripersonal. So we think that God, when you mention that, when you're talking about the who aspect of God, you're talking about Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Right? When you talk about what God is, you're talking about that one God, that one divine essence, and the who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's how Christians see it. Yeah, but do you guys believe that God cannot divide? So what, how is that? Right. We don't think that Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are separate, divisible persons. We don't believe that. We believe they are distinct persons, but not separate persons. Because as soon as they're separate, then they're acting of their own will, their own accord, and they are actually separate gods. We don't believe that. We think they are distinct so that you can reference them, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I was, I was here but we don't say they're separate. I came here last week, and yeah. this lady came to me, she was like, Jesus is God, mm. and he's the first one in the world, and she's like, waffling and those stuff. So like, okay, so we believe that because Jesus is God, he is the incarnate word, and the incarnation is a specific thing that happens. Jesus was a messenger of God. That's, I understand yeah. that. We also believe he is a prophet. We accept that he is a prophet, yeah. but we also believe he is the incarnate word. And the reason we believe that is because all of the people who knew Jesus, who talked with Jesus, came, up, came to this understanding as well. So for example, when you want to know what Muhammad said, what do you do? Yeah, I know what in the Quran he said that Jesus was as the Messiah in yeah. Which yeah. Is like And he is the word of Allah. He's the messenger of Allah. And he's also the word. Because the Quran says he is the word of Allah. The, yeah. yeah. And Allah created him to help him mm -hmm. and to spread the word around. Okay, right. And then he became the Messiah of Numeria, which is the Christian. Okay, so we think that the word, which is Jesus, the word has eternally been there. So when you think of God, think of three distinct relations, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that are uncreated. They've always been there. Right? And then at some point, the Son chooses to become incarnate into the flesh of Christ, into the person of Jesus. That's how we see it. So there's a similar way in which Muslims think the same thing, but they think about the Quran. So for you guys, is the Quran created? Do you know? Do you think the Quran is created or is it uncreated? Right. But is, is, the, is the Quran itself, the word of Allah, the speech of Allah, is that created? That's Allah's word. Okay. I don't think you quite know though, because so Muslims would, they should. You're Sunni Muslims, right? Okay. So Sunni Muslims should say the speech of Allah is uncreated, because the speech of Allah. Okay. Yeah. Right. That's fine. That's fine. It was sent to you, but it's uncreated, right? Okay. So that means it's always existed, right? Yeah. And it's always been there alongside Allah, right? Okay. So there are things that are not Allah. They are distinct from Allah, namely His speech. 
because the speech of Allah is not the same thing as Allah Himself, but they are not separate, right? Then that speech of Allah incarnated into the world and it became the recitation that Muslims who have memorized the Quran know today. Huh? It became the laws that we follow. Right. So you have it with you, right? It's a part of creation. So the uncreated entered into creation. That's very similar to what Christians believe about Christ. So there are similarities between... We have Quran, that's a book. Right, that's exactly it. We would say a person, you say a book. We have the Bible, we have the Quran. Yeah, but it's similar, that's the Bible. The Bible has so many verses. The Bible was created. Yeah, we would say the Bible is written by man and inspired by God. So we believe the Bible is created, yeah. So the so so we have the disciple John, uh, John the Evangelist, we but call him. As a person, how can yeah, speak to God? because he's inspired by God. Okay. Do you see? Do you know that Allah spoke to Moses? Yeah, he spoke to Moses. Right. So did Allah inspire Moses? What do you mean inspired? Did he tell him things that, that he didn't know before? Yeah, he told him to do it. Right. So the information he had is inspired by Allah. Just likewise, so the disciple John is inspired by Allah, or God. So you realize that there are some ways that we can actually make comparisons between what we believe. Although we do believe in radically different things, you say that God is not triune, we say God is triune. We say that the prophets did sin, you say the prophets didn't sin. There are always um, areas that we can have some kind of agreement on, right? But of course, for me, if I want to know what Jesus said, I look at the earliest manuscripts. If I want to know what Muhammad said, I look at the earliest manuscripts. The issue you guys have is that you claim that Isa, Jesus, is a prophet of Allah, but all of the manuscripts, all of the early church, and all of the people who knew him say that he is the Son of God, the Word incarnate, that he died on the cross, that he resurrected three days later. You guys say he's Son of God because he has no dad, that's why. No, we don't say that, no. no Chris I've never had a Christian tell me, hey, do you know how we know Jesus is God? Because he had no earthly dad. I've never heard a Christian say this. This is something that Muslims are told that we say, but we actually don't say. We, we say that Jesus is God because he explicitly says so in our scripture. For example, in John 14, verse 13 and 14, Jesus tells his disciples that they can pray to him when he ascends into heaven at the right hand of the Father. The disciples can pray to him and he will answer them in his name. He also says in John 16, 30 that he knows all things. And in the previous verse, he says he's not speaking metaphorically, he's speaking literally, he's speaking plainly. In the Quran, so that's how we know. There's a whole surah about yeah. basically called Surah Maryam. Yeah, so 19. Mary, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And um, that's um, Surah Mary, okay. It said how Jesus was created, how Allah gave it to her, and how everyone gonna be thinking how did like how did she get that child? Yeah. But like all the message that Allah told her is on the Quran, like you can see it's gonna see it. Mm -hmm. you know it. Uh, yeah, I've read Surah Miriam. The issue I have with Surah Miriam is that it borrows some stories that existed before. So, so do you guys believe Surah Miriam? Like, do you think that's, that's like right? No, I don't think I don't think Surah Miriam is either right or scripture. I don't think it's neither of those things. Because to be fair, if I did, I'd probably be a Muslim. If you think of it that way, right? You Just like if you read the Gospel of John you have, and you yeah, agreed it, you'd probably you be a Christian. Be you can't be Muslim unless you have the intention. When you read the Shahada, right. if you don't have the intention, you will not become Muslim. Right, okay. But just because you believe in what we believe in, what you think is right, does not mean right. you're Muslim. Okay, uh, is everyone born a Muslim? I'm born Muslim. I was born Muslim. My okay, was but is everyone born Muslim? No. No, okay. Alright, that's people good. Are converting. Yeah. Some like, people I have convert, a friend some people just do whatever they need to. Some yeah. people don't believe in God, some people convert, some people like just let go of their beliefs. Like right. they will claim that they're Muslim, they'll claim that they're Christian, yeah. but they are like they don't follow what they want, you know what I'm saying? They really believe that oh yeah, there's a God, but they won't follow the Bible, they won't follow the Quran, they won't follow anything. They'll just Can I ask you something? God. Yeah, of course. Do yeah. you feel safe every single day? Do I what sorry? When you go out, do you feel safe every single day? Do I Feel safe. Feel safe every yeah, single day. Every single day. No, I guess. No. I don't okay, always feel safe. For us, for us, before we go, we read some surahs from the Quran. We and say some, protection like, for you. some words um, right. to Allah. And then we get out of the house, we feel safe. Like like even Allah said, right. like, you know, evil cannot come near you. That's what right. Allah said to us. That's why we well, go out. When I came here, I feel safe that long. You see, that sounds like a, a spell in some sense to me. I mean, and also, in, if it's the will of Allah, then bad things will happen, right? Like the Raisi last week in the helicopter. You know, right. Suddenly, he's, he's a man of God, and then suddenly he crash lands. Right. And he's so that would have been the will of Allah, Raisi. right? Yeah. Because nothing happens outside of the will of Allah. Yeah. Okay, so if Allah determines all things, 
are any of us truly free? Huh? Yes. So, so, okay, everything I'm saying, Allah is making me say. Everything you're saying, Allah is making you say. No, because nothing no, no, happens... No, 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 no. Right, okay. No, no. Um, basically, Allah knows your hand going to speak on the Day of Judgment. Your mouth going to say whatever you said. Right. Everything, everything, you know that everything is right in your left hand and your right hand. Everything you say is right. Okay. So we're going to be judged about that. Because Allah didn't tell me to say the words I'm telling you now. Allah didn't tell me to come here, but I came here. Right, but is Allah the one who determines all things or not? Allah wrote everything. Allah wrote, when you're going to die, what's right. going to happen? Okay, so then he also wrote the words that you're saying now. He wrote yeah? the Quran, didn't he? Well, yeah, the, the and the, the Aluth al, al Fahfuz, Fah I can't pronounce it. You have the eternal tablet with all things recorded on, right? Yeah. That's the one, yeah, yeah, I always struggle with that one. So if everything is written and recorded, then that must mean that we all have to enact it out because it is the will of Allah. He has written what will happen and so therefore we will do it. Yeah, but no one knows what's going to happen. You know true, we true, we don't know. We don't know. That's why when we die, we're not about to be moved. Say again, sorry? That's why we don't know when we die. That's yeah. the point. That's why when we, if you die, for example, in China, yeah. God has decided for you to die in China. Right. That's why you're not allowed to bring your body here in the UK because God has decided you to die in China. Okay, that makes sense. That's the point. Oh. That would mean that we don't have free will, yeah. correct? We have free will. Right. But I thought you said that if it's Allah decides that oh, you'll yeah, die in... You don't have the will. Like, for example, dying, right. where you're going to die, yeah. Allah chooses. Is it only in, only in death? Or is it all things? Even life. When your wife going to give birth, she okay. doesn't choose. And the words that I'm saying right now, that comes from Allah, right? Because He determines what I will say. Because it's all written in the tablet. Yeah, but that's different. Law and Mahfud, it's another tablet. That's another right. thing that God created. It's not like Quran. It's not okay. like, so you have different books. It's yeah. like, it's like different categories. You have okay. the big book, Law and Mahfud, the one that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the pen, yeah. the kalam, He said, right. And, he said, and the pen wrote. Write. He said, write yeah. everything that's going to happen from now all the way to Yom al Qiyamah until the day that everything will be destroyed. That's one book yeah. that is kept under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with everything that's going to happen, okay. what will happen, mm -hmm. what could have happened. So if you take your car when you're drunk, if you had to take your car, if you wouldn't take your car, if you didn't take your car. So everything okay. that hap could have happened, happened, or okay. could have happened is all written. And then you have your own book to your own self. Okay. Things that can be changed. So that's why we have nights, yeah. like, we say we have moments in. in, in in the year that are blessed moment, like for example, we have Laylatul Qadr on the night of Ramadan. Qadr, Qadr, it's yeah. a night that we pray <coughs> yeah. because even things can be changed on that night. Okay. But even for example, Allah imagine change for you to have a cancer. Yeah. Right? It was written you have a cancer. Mm -hmm. Then you pray, you pray so much. Allah said, Allah by that prayer or that he take off the cancer. Take off the okay, so in low and mahfud, it would happen that you were right. supposed to have a cancer so, and that Allah removed the cancer anyway. Okay, so is there is free will is what you're saying. <coughs> you have free will. But okay, but Allah is that all things or just some things? Some, something like the day some things. Like you die. Okay, you but die. in the, I assume you're a Sunni Muslim, right? Well, ultimately, the ultimately choices I made were free will that led to the car accident. And even the person who was driving the car, assuming I crashed into a car, they were also free, right? To be drunk and take your car. We agree on that. Is your yeah, it would be my feel to do that, right? Right. Not necessarily because I can put some drugs on him. Okay, right. But then the guy who did that, it was his free will to do that to me. But no, it's mine, not his anymore. Right. But my point is, is that in the Sunni Orthodox belief, there is something called Al Qaeda. And the Al-Qaeda is the idea that there is already written no, no, no. what will happen for all no, no, no. people at all times. So that's and if it, next week's winning lottery. It would indeed. So what that means though, that is that if player. everything is already... Okay, that's fine. I was just wondering. But if everything is already written, then that means you don't in any real sense have any free will because you couldn't have chosen to do otherwise. But so you might think... Yeah. No, my word not everything is written. Is written. But everything that's gonna happen is mm. written. But not what you're gonna do is written. Why? Like what, what you're gonna say now is not written. Mm. Yeah, because it's a gossip, that's why. But doesn't the hadith explicitly say in the Sunnah, an authentic hadith, that all things are known by Allah and you have to act them out? You, you are not a Muslim, are you? I'm not a Muslim. I'm a Christian, by the way. You're going to go to hell. Yeah, according only to... Muslims going to go to heaven. Yeah, in their belief. Yeah, yeah. Well, well even, wait, even Muslims go to the grave. Even Muslims Everybody go to hell, according to the Quran. Muslim, no. if, 
Muslims, okay, yeah. you don't say that you're Muslim without praying. So if if a Muslim like you, mm. uh, if I don't pray, I'm gonna be like you now. Kafir. Right? Yeah, yeah, like kafir. kafir. Basically, Allah said the difference between us and you guys is the right. prayer. If you don't pray, yeah. we like you guys. If you forget a prayer, does that no, mean you're kafir? No. 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 Okay, because there are some Muslims that think that the Hanbali school no, it's that if you. No, I'm talking about it's someone who forgets to pray. Well, there are, there are some schools of thick that say actually you are kafir in that period of time because you, what I'm saying, the Hanbali school says that. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's one of the four schools of thick. Yeah. Like you spray time now, and on purpose, every single day you spray time no, and you go from the salah. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm talking about people who um, basically they wake up and they they could pray, they could do fajr, but they decide not to, and they go back to sleep. Yeah, so so it is an intentional choice. That, but so but you're not kafir. Do you say you are or you're not? You are you are kafir. So you follow the Hanbali school then? So here, so funny. Hey, she, yeah. Right, carry on, please, carry on. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Why is it funny? No, no, I just, I don't know what's... Since when is religion mm. wandering? Huh? Religion Why is it... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine, it's fine. You, you can just ignore him, it's all good. So, we know what Jesus said and taught. And he says that he's the son of God. But the, the, yeah, we, we agree. He is also the son of Mary. A son of God is a title. It explains his relationship with the Father. Not a biological. No, no Christian believes it's biological. The son of God. Uh, the unique monogamous son of God. Yes, but not son of God generally, because there are many sons of God in Scripture. But Jesus in. Where in the Bible is it? Should I even pick a title? Determine. So John chapter 10, for example. If you read past verse 30, Jesus gives a response to the Pharisees where he describes himself as the uniquely given Son of God. And so he sets himself apart. Because he actually starts off by saying many people are called God. And he says, So how more appropriate is it that me, the uniquely given Son of God, does this? So he sets a difference. Do you, eat, yeah. do you eat bacon sandwich? Yes, I do. You're going to go automatically to hell. <laughs> going to the Muslim belief. Muslims don't eat uh, yeah. pork. They yeah. only eat halal meat. Yeah. Just like the Jews, they eat kosher food. Mm. The carne, yeah. mm. So you're automatically going to go to hell anyway. Well, Muslim, that, wait, do you oh, drink? Yes. You're automatically I know, hell. that's what they say. Yeah. But I want you to know this. In the Quran. Okay, you want to ask a question? Jesus was son of God. That yes. means I'm, I'm a daughter of God then. Yeah. Then you are what, sorry? If Jesus is the son of God, yeah. then it's also son of God. There's, a, there's a, a sense in which we can say that. So, for example, in your religion, you don't say that Allah has any sons, right? Yeah. Surah Al Maida, ayah 18, explicitly says he never has sons. But the Jews, but the Jews call themselves children of God. Hmm? Yeah, but Jews ain't got nothing to do with us. Yeah. Well, we are ultimately descendants of the house of Israel. You, you understand that the Christ himself, no, Jesus, no, was a Jew. You're a Gentile. Like, I'm Gentile, Gentile, but I'm... Yes. I'm you're a Gentile. I am Gentile. No, I am, yes, but I'm folded into the house of Israel through the Messiah. You see, this is what the Messiah came to do. He came, he came for the children of Israel, and then his final mission is to spread all his redemption, his love, his mercy to so all of the world. why is he going to come back to free Palestine? Why is he going to come back to free Palestine? Yeah, I don't even mean no, by that. He he that might be your belief. No, but we, believe, even Christian believe that. Even what do you mean Jesus by free Palestine? Like he's going to come and get the Jewish out of Palestine. That's what I mean. Wait, we believe that Christ will come to judge the world. Yes, he will come again. And you also believe that Christ will come again. Yeah. Which means that Muhammad is not the final prophet. <laughs> but how? Because he's the final prophet that has been sent with the message. But Jesus comes with the message. No, because Jesus is not coming as a prophet. He will not say. He will not come and say, "I am a new prophet," because he already came. He comes he's just going to come and finish. What well, he's, he's still not the. So he might be the final no, unique no, prophet, no, but he's not the final no, prophet. No, no, no. Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last prophet to be revealed and to be sent by God to guide the nation. He's the last one. Right. The last one to be revealed. Right? Okay. So if, if the last unique one. Said, I am a prophet mm. of God. Yeah. We know it's not true because God will not reveal a new prophet. Right. But he will send old ones back. No, old ones just Jesus. Jesus. Well, that's what I mean then. So Jesus is the last prophet then, because he's going to come up to me and he's going to abandon the jizya and he's going to tell me and he's going to wait. He's going to convince all the Jews to believe in him. 
and the Christ, yeah, supposed to say in your view. So, so then the then he is a prophet, and he is coming again. You know, the problem See, with the last prophet is the English prophet. The English, what, sorry? Yeah. Last prophet. It's yeah. English prophet. Yes. Is it English? Like the, the language is English. Yeah, yeah it's last. Me. Wait. That's not for last, last. That's not for last. 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 Okay. So I'm just saying the last one is Jesus coming again. So like, okay, you get a point with the word last. last. But yeah, it's the last one. Wait. You mean Jesus? He hasn't been revealed. He has been revealed by the world. No, but Jesus has been revealed by God already. What happened is that Jesus, he was, I um, mean, he wasn't dead. He wasn't crucified. Right. Because God took him because his mm. evil enemies wanted to kill him. Yeah. But on that time, people. People, some people look like Jesus so they got confused for another person on the cross. But what happened yeah. is that in the Quran it says that these silent salam is going to come back. Yeah. yeah. And then because because he has a job, he already know his job since he was in it. Before he went to his, since he was in his mother's belly, he knew his job. He, after the judge will come, the Palestine will be for the Jews. Okay. But after when these silent salam is going to come, yeah. and, and the, the job will say, I'm the Messiah to yeah. the Jews, and mm. the Jews will follow them because they were waiting for their Messiah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when Isa alayhi salam will come, he's going to kill the Jews by running off Can I ask how old you are, my friend? Nine. nine. You're nine years old. Okay. Doing well, very, very well for nine. Mm. So he's going to go, yeah. kill the Jews, and okay. after at the end, yeah. and it's can, I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What happened to all the prophets before Isa? How did because you talk about you talk about killing and you talk about death, which is very mature for your age. But what happened to the prophets before? They were killed and they died, right? Some of them were killed. Some, Some of them, them were killed. killed. Okay. But, more, but most of them is yeah. like they die like funeral, like God. Right. So they are the one from Allah. Okay. From Allah. And then Jesus Some didn't. Right. Some just died. So okay, that makes sense. And Jesus didn't die; he was raised, right? Yeah. Did was Muhammad raised? Why wasn't Muhammad raised? Because what, not because Allah knows he would be raised. Like for us, he is the he is a blessed prophet. Right. But he is a blessed prophet. But it, in but it, it, but for Allah, in the book, it, Allah knows that for him he won't he won't. But why though? It's, it's not our problem. Well, I just mean that you know Isa was a beloved prophet, and Allah saved him from the Jews. And Muhammad was also supposedly, if not the greatest prophet in Islam. So why was he not rose? Because he did because he told them he told the Muslim then, then after Mecca, after some after the became Muslim place. So after all the people so his job was finished. So and like Isa alayhi salam, Muhammad and Isa alayhi salam done the Because Isa alayhi salam has to finish his job. Muhammad alayhi salam, he already finished his job. Right, okay. That's an interesting. See, I find it strange that Muhammad in the Quran doesn't perform miracles, but Jesus does perform miracles in the angel. Mm. In the Quran. Can you show? You won't find any in the Quran, my friend. Not in the Quran. All the miracles are made by God. They're mm. given to the prophets who made by God. So if Muhammad isn't, isn't recorded as doing miracles in the Quran, but in the angel, Isa, Jesus is recorded as doing miracles. In fact, his whole birth is a miracle. So like, how do I know that um, Muhammad Salam, yeah. miracle was every time he left the, every time um, he passed through rocks, yeah. and every time he passed rocks, how how can we know that the miracle was the rocks were saying Salam? But does it say that in the Quran? That's a hadith. Yeah, it's a hadith, though. You see, hadith. my my point is, is that you would have thought in the in the revelation of Muhammad. But, but, the, but, but when the mm. moon split in two, it said okay. in the Quran. Does it say Muhammad did that? No, Those it are my was friends. A miracle, yeah. But, um, Allah, mm. but Allah made the moon split in two. Muhammad just uh, Muhammad well, knew mm. what the moon was split in two, but the, he said to Quraysh, "Look at the moon. Yeah. The moon split in half." Right. Well, first of all, there aren't really many, if any, at all accounts of the people whole perceiving this. Is a miracle. The whole Quran okay. Is a so why is it? Okay. But the only reason is that you have to understand mm. that the Arabs on that time they were poets, they were master in language. Yeah. All right. So when the Quran was revealed, it was another type of poetry. Okay. It was something that they had not been used to. They don't know. It was something like 
That's why Allah said, bring the surah like it, bring a right, diary. Right. Because you have to understand that the Arabs were perfect in uh, poetry, in the master of language. Yeah. Right? Same like Shakespeare in English language, right? Or uh, French literature. So that's why, the, that's why we said that, not like Jesus who could cure the blind or the sick, that was a miracle. We believe that the whole Quran giving to Muhammad was a, a miracle itself because of the, of the magnificent of the language inside the Quran. Because when you read it in Arabic, yeah. that's why, that's why you shouldn't read it in English. That's why we said to our kids to learn it in Arabic because Boy. when you understand, yeah. and Arabs can tell those who know that it's the literature, the yeah. poetry that Allah used, it was for them a miracle because they were not used to that. They don't Boy. know said it was the word of a magician. Then they said, no, 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 no. Then it was maybe a, a, a sorcerer. No, no, no. Maybe it was a poet. You understand? That, that's the miracle. That's why the biggest miracle in Islam, it's our Quran. The, there are Arab speakers, people who are native Arabs who don't think the Quran is miraculous. And that's an issue because because the, wait, 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 hang on. Let me just finish making my point here. My point is that that criteria is subjective. That would be like me saying Shakespeare is the best English work ever. I mean, is it? I don't know. Like, how would you even measure that? 